Okay, all right. Um, well, first of all, then, um, FA Trophy this, this weekend, a game against you know, a team a couple of divisions below. I know you probably don't know that much about Morpeth Town, and I suppose many of us do really, but what kind of a challenge are you expecting in a, in a game like that? Yeah, I think it's similar to FA Cup. You know, we know it'll be a tough game. Um, I think as it's at their ground as well, we know the conditions might not be the same as, as Meadow Lane. So um, obviously there's a, a lot of unknown going into it was with not too much known about them, but we know it'll be a tough game and we're not taking anything for granted. Yeah, Do you quite enjoy games like this when it is against a team that you wouldn't normally play, you know, in a, in a league set it's a team that you may have ne maybe never been to before? Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously there's, you know, players out the team who are looking to get a chance and, um, you know, show... Show the gaff what they can do in in, in, uh, in in valuable minutes. So you know it'll be a, a good game for for fitness wise, I think. And uh, you know obviously there's uh, a lot to take. Uh, you know with Morpeth being divisions below, but you know we're expecting a tough game either way. Yeah, and it's a competition. Of course, you did so well in last year. Um, just I guess it'd be great if you could just go that one step further than this. Definitely. Obviously, last year we put a good run together. Um, you know, obviously it's a shame uh, going out with, without, without the chance to, to get to Wembley again. But, you know, hopefully we can go on further this year. Uh, what about this? We're going into the Christmas period now, of course. Um, and I'd like in a minute if it's all right, just to have a slight little reflection on the, the, the year that's been. But you're going into it in a, in a decent position, aren't you? After an up and down year, you're going in I mean, to this Christmas period. I mean, just beaten Stockport, one of the best teams in the, in the division. How happy are you with the position knots are in come, you know, coming towards the end of 2020? Yeah, I think it gives us, um, you know, certainly a base to build on for the for the second half of the season. You know, there's a lot of games left to play, but um, you know, we're still um, within touching distance. And I think if we can put a, a run together like we did um, last season in the second half of the season, I think we'll be in a very strong position. Yeah, I mean, it has been such a funny old year. I mean, it's starting off with that game in the middle of the, middle of March. You know, um, home game Eastleigh, wasn't it? You know, you win four nil. Most of the football was called off. Meadow Lane has the biggest crowd in Europe that day. What, what, what do you remember of that of that moment playing that game when you know so much of the football was off and many people were questioning even if the game could go ahead? Yeah, obviously there's. Um, I think with everything being called off, you know you're half expecting that there's going to be an announcement about um, our league. But obviously it was great to to play, um, albeit you know obviously there's a lot of uh, restrictions that were coming into force. But it was uh, good to play in a stadium with with fans there. Um, I think obviously in hindsight with uh, um, sort of the coronavirus building up, it was um, sort of a de decision that you know wasn't wasn't taken lightly. Um, but obviously, um, pretty immediate act action was taken after that. But um, yeah, it was great. You know, from a personal point of view, it was great to play with with, with fans there again. And um, obviously, it was a very good performance and uh, and the win as well. Yeah, and at that point as well, you know, that was like a, a fifth win in a row in all competitions. You were flying at just the right time towards the end of the season. And I know, you know, COVID and, and everything else is so much more important. But still, from a purely footballing point of view, couldn't have come at a worse time. There was a chance that, you know, you could have gone and maybe even caught Barrow at the top at that point. Yeah, as, as I said, we're in a very strong um, run of form going into the end of last season. You know, it was obviously a shame when things were um, were curtailed. But, you know, obviously, it's, you know, it's... Uh, Pretty un unprecedented, unprecedented pandemic. So you know we had to, uh, um, you know, obviously stop um, for health reasons. But you know, as I said, we're in a, we're in a great run of form, and uh, I think as, if we were able to play out the season in hindsight, maybe we would have um, come close to to getting that top spot. But yeah, it was, a, it, was a, it was a shame things had to end. But obviously, it's uh, very necessary they did. And on a personal note, how, how did you cope with that summer? How did you cope with lockdown and all the uncertainty that was around it of not knowing whether you'd be back one week to the next playing, you know, and then eventually the season being delayed? How, how did you deal with it? Yeah, it was quite a stop start. Obviously, you're trying to um, to stay fit, and uh, you know you're looking for a time where you're going to be back uh, back playing. But obviously, there wasn't any any news for a, for a little while. So you know you're trying to stay fit, but there's no real date as uh, as as when to build up, and you know your preparations are quite difficult in that time. Um, I think especially with the playoffs, you know it's a, a long time to be at home trying to trying to train and, and maintain fitness when uh, you don't really have a date when you're going to come back for it. So uh, yeah, it was difficult. Um, Obviously, in the, I think in the playoffs we, we played well the first game, and then obviously the the final not not as not not as good as a uh, from from our standards. But um, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't wasn't easy. Yeah, and you've been one of the, you know one of the few teams to have played in played such a big game at Wembley, but but without any fans and just a, a weird experience and such a, a disappointing experience, of course, to lose in the manner of it. But just a, what a what a weird day. Yeah, it was a shame. You know, obviously every footballer dreams to play at Wembley, um, and uh, you know it's just. Uh, I like the you know the chance we get there. There's no there's, there's no fans allowed. So um, yeah, it was a it was a weird day. It's quite a, an empty atmosphere. But um, you know, hopefully we can um, get there again in the trophy and hopefully go on better with the league. 
And so to have then been able to start this season and to get yourselves into the position that you are now, I mean, that, that's a terrific achievement from Knott's point of view, isn't it? You know, not only have you started the season well done with another um, period where you couldn't play because of players having, having COVID, but you've, you've come back after it. And it's testament to everybody, isn't it, within the club? And I'd like to know who you, you think you know, deserves the credit for that, really, that you've, you've got yourselves into a strong position again. Yeah, definitely. Everything, everyone from the uh, from the staff to the players have all come back with a purpose. Um, you know, I think um, the work behind the scenes has been brilliant to give us the platform to try and um, you know improve on last season. And uh, you know, I think from top to bottom, it's been it's, it's been a brilliant work, work work ethic at the club. Good man, Alex. Thank you very much. Really good to talk. Thank you. Yeah, pleasure. Oh. Can I just apologise for that? <laughs> You've been shouted at by you. <laughs> There we go. We've got we've got, we've got we've got peace and quiet at last. Um, Alex, just on the game at the weekend. Um, obviously, you, you you've could just come back from injury. Ben Turner and Conor Wallinson have, have been fantastic at, at centre half. How do you sort of view the challenge of getting back into the team? Yeah, uh, you know the last um, few games since they've been in, they've been they've been solid. They've been they've been very good. So um, you know it's down to myself and the players out of the team to um, you know train hard and provide a level of competition to. Keep the standards high. Um, you know, it's a long season. I think we're going to need everyone in the squad. So um, hopefully, when a chance comes, you know, I can take it. How have you viewed sort of their, their form, and, uh, and how would you assess the challenge it is for you to, to get back into the team? Yeah, as I said, they you know they've been brilliant. Um, you know, we, we've kept clean sheets and they've been very solid. Um, you know, it's given the team a platform to to go on and win games that have been quite tight. I think. Um, but yeah, as I said, they've been in very good form. Um, you know, it's down to myself and the players out the team to um, you know keep pushing them forwards and maintain the standards. Um, what did you make of the, the performance on, on Tuesday night against Stockport? Yeah, um, you know, solid from 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 back to front. Um, obviously, we got a chance with with Reeves in. He took that chance very well. I think it was a, a game with not not very many chances going. It was quite a tight game. So I think um, yeah, it was a, a brilliant result. And you know, from front to back, I think we're very we're, we're very solid. And I suppose the rest of the players who have not been involved or have been out injured, it's their chance to set their own. You know, marker this weekend, isn't it? Because I think that there's going to be a few changes, and obviously you've got a hectic Christmas program coming up. And I think the manager's just said that he he wants to be in the position on Boxing Day where he, he's looking around, he's saying, I, I, "I can't leave anybody out." Definitely, you know. Um, obviously, if you're out the team, you're looking for minutes, and uh, a, a game like Saturday's game will be a perfect, um, perfect opportunity to to get some minutes in the tank and build up fitness. So, um, you know, I think hopefully we're going there for a. For a good good performance and obviously pro- progressing the competition and you know get valuable minutes into us that you know can really help um, the manager with his thoughts that if he wants to throw to throw us in he doesn't have any second thoughts. Um, I'm going to ask you a question now. What do you know about Morpeth Town? Um, can't say I know, know too much. Um, I know Callum's been uh, saying it's near near Blythe from 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 the flat, but um, yeah, obviously it's going to be a bit of an un- of an unknown. But you know we're going to go there and. Uh, you know, treat it like any game, really, and obviously go go to get a good result. I mean, I'm just intrigued what goes through a player's mind. You know, when you're obviously going to places like this that obviously we've we've never been to and never seen. Obviously, facilities we're unsure about. Psychologically, does that have any impact going into the game? I think we'll know that we'll be favourites going into the game. Um, you know, but I think sometimes there's obviously. You see in the FA Cup every year, there's 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 upsets, and you know we'll make sure we do a professional job, and you know we know we've got the quality to 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 win the game. It's just um, I think the the mindset and uh, you know the mental aspect going into the game will be the most important thing. Long journey up there as well. I think Jake asked the manager before what you sort of get up to on the coach. Um, what what do you do to pass the time on such long journeys? Um, a few card games, um, stuff like that. Nothing too interesting. Watch a few TV series. Um, I tend uh, to sit next to Sam Sam Slocum, so I, I try and keep the TV series on quite quite quite, quite often. But, um, but yeah, no, just have a chat with the lads and what, just, what, just stop from talking to you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got the uh, noise cancelling headphones on, so uh, <laughs> make it a bit better that way. But um, yeah, just a few t- TV series and uh, don't don't tell Sam I said that; he won't be too happy. <laughs> well, I, it's funny. It's funny you should mention this because I watched Callum Roberts. I think. Um, and Enzio and Ruben's video recently on, yeah. and he figured recently, didn't he? Because apparently uh, they asked Callum what they would give another member of the squad, and he said it would be to improve your banter. Yeah. How did that go down? Uh, didn't go down too great, to be fair. It made it a bit awkward <laughs> in the flat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we lived together. 
But um, no, he was, he was just kidding. Are you living um, together here? Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No, he's uh, he's obviously a funny funny lad. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it's all it's all banter between the two. What, what's he like as a flatmate? Yeah, he's good. You know, he's just. Uh, Keeps to himself, sits on the sofa, watches horse racing and stuff like that. Is uh, <laughs> it's pretty easy to get on with. Brilliant, mate. Top man. No worries. Hi, hi, Alex. How are you? Yeah, good. Thank you. How are you? Good stuff. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Uh, just a few follow-up questions from what um, the guys have asked. Really, um, I was going to say in the past couple of games, you've been kind of like on the bench as you're as you've been stepping up your defensive fitness. Just how much of a relief has it been to to get back to near hundred percent? Yeah, obviously. Um, that's uh, the most important thing to get back and uh, get back into full training when when you're fit and you're not carrying anything. Um, obviously, the guys have been in, in in great form defensively at the minute, so um, you know it sort of uh, gives me extra time to make sure I'm you know 100% and ready to to, st to step in when the opportunity comes. Um, you know, so hopefully on Saturday if I get some uh, game time, hopefully I can be 100% in that and uh, show show hopefully what I can be in the team. And um, um, we've just spoken with Neil kind of like about the, the chat that he had with you guys uh, over the weekend about kind of like the uh, the steeliness and the mentality uh, among the camp being questioned. I'm just wondering what was your kind of like initial reaction when he when he said that to you guys? I think, we, yeah, I think as a squad, as a squad, we know we're, um, you know, obviously one of the better teams um, in the league. Technically, I think, you know, when teams come to our stadium, you know, it can be a bit, bit of a bigger opportunity for them. I think it's just to make sure that we're um, in the mindset that we know the teams are going to come and, you know, in, in all their fixture list for the season, they're probably going to pick out um, Notts County, maybe a few other teams as sort of the bigger away trips. So, um, you know, I think it's down to us to really make sure the mindset's there. Um, you know, not just playing at home, but when we go away as well, to make sure we're um, relentless and focused on on the performance and get, getting the result. Brilliant. Do you think that's something that will stick in your mind and the players' minds throughout the throughout the season? Definitely. I think um, you know, obviously, it's uh, um, probably the basis of what. What we'll do as a team, um, you know, we know we can pass the ball well and play, but I think when we go to get when we go to games, we're not playing um, as well as as possible, or we're not we're not passing the ball well. I think that um, obviously the mindset um, comes very important into that. And this, of course, the final fixture for Notts County before Christmas. Just wondering what uh, the plans are for yourself next week. What you've got to, what you've got planned? Seeing friends and family and things like that. Yeah, hopefully seeing my family. Um, I think it'll just be uh, parents and my brother. Um, Back over Milton Keynes, um, so hopefully we get get a bit of time to see them. But other than that, I guess it'd just be you know looking forward to to, to the next game probably.